Okay, we're going to chat about this article. It's a case report from 2004, self-inflicted cesarean section with maternal and fetal survival. Self-inflicted means the patient delivered herself via cesarean. That happened. So this is a case report of a 40-year-old G9 P8. She had uh, eight previous deliveries, but her last delivery resulted in a fe in utero fetal death or stillbirth due to obstructed labor. In her ninth pregnancy, she went into labor on her own and had, did not have access to medical care, realized she was probably going through the same thing again, so she decided to use her skills at slaughtering animals to deliver herself via cesarean. Per her report, she had three shots of hard liquor. And according to the article, this would be her ab abdomen. This is her uterus. She did a right paramedian incision vertically to gain access to her abdomen. So likely she entered somewhere near the midline uh, between the rectus muscles. And then she cut her uterus in the same direction and delivered the male fetus. She didn't report a lot of bleeding. But uh, having done these a gazillion times, incisions that are up and down, either right to the side of the belly button or above it or below it, actually do not bleed very much because you get right in between those rectus muscles and you avoid a lot of vessels that way. Before she passed out, she asked her one of her children to call the local nurse. Now, this patient did live in a very rural community with no access to running water or electricity. When the nurse arrived, the patient was indeed passed out and her bowel was coming out of her body, to be expected, especially with a vertical incision. Um, and so the nurse did what she could to sew some things back together with a sewing needle and cotton thread. The patient was then transferred to the nearest hospital eight hours away via car. 16 hours from the delivery, she underwent an exploratory laparotomy where the docs went in, cleaned everything up, repaired her uterus and everything else in her abdominal wall that needed to be repaired. Now, I'm not going to show all the other pictures because my video will get taken down or uh, shadow banned. But this is actually what the incision looked like that she initially made after it started to heal. Not bad. So, of course, the question is, do you think that if you were in the same situation that you could do that? Be honest. Tell me in the comments.